Hi everybody, I have an interesting video for you today. Um, it is called The Magic of Xant, which is a game for the color computer, specifically the Color Computer 3. This is a graphical adventure game. It's loosely based on the science fiction novels of Piers Anthony uh, and his Land of Xant uh, sci-fi adventure novels. Um, I am not familiar with those novels, and I'm also not familiar with this game, I just kind of saw it and thought it looked really interesting. And I found a walkthrough uh, for it. And the way I do adventure games on my channel is I don't want, I don't do them that you see me struggling and figuring things out. It's just basically you played this game way back when you were a kid. You got frustrated and couldn't beat it just like me. And you just want to see the rest of the screens that you never got to. So this is going to be just a straight up playthrough, walkthrough of the magic of Xanth. And here is a little bit of information about uh, the land of Xanth. So in the land of Xanth, magic is commonplace. Dragons, griffins, centaurs, and demons abound. King Trent, the ruler of Xanth, has assigned your group to discover the source of all magic in the land of Xanth. By your side in this group is your friend Chester Centaur and a soldier named Crombie, who has been magically transformed into a griffin for your quest. Your first step is to attempt to enlist the aid of the good magician Humphrey in your adventures. This in itself could be uh, become quite a task. So... <laughs> I did try to play through the game on my own, and I didn't get very far um, after a good dozen tries or so, if not more. And uh, so that's when I went through to find a walkthrough and found one. So I'm going to load up the game here for you, and we'll check it out. I would absolutely love to hear from anyone who played this game back in the day and hear your experience with it if you want to leave that in the comments this one was a new one to me the graphics are really great on it uh, and the sound the music's really cool but the game uh, it was really hard to figure out and then was kind of disappointing I thought Okay, just loading the scene data. So it does let you keep a save game uh, disc, which is great. Uh, so you can save your progress as you go along because you get killed a lot in this game. Like, a lot. <laughs> At least I did. Let you listen to the intro music here because it's pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly how many channels that used for the Coco. I guess four, maybe I think four is the maximum. I thought it sounded pretty cool. All right, so you're wandering through the magical land of Xanth with your companions Chester Centaur and Crombie the Griffin. You see nothing special. Obvious directions to go north, south, east, or west. Welcome to the magic of Xanth. So my experience with this game the first screen, no matter which direction you go, you get attacked by a dragon. And then there's only one, one direction that you can run, but there's many, many choices uh, to go. 
And then actually, when I looked at the, found the walkthrough, you just run. And I was like, run west, run north. Ah, uh, so it took me probably over 12 tries just to get away from the dragon. Uh, and then you get to this other zone, and I, I didn't know what to do there, and that took a couple tries. Uh, and then you got to a castle, and I died a couple times there. Uh, eventually, I was able to get it. So, uh, get to get to this castle, and then I didn't know what to do there. But that's how far I got on my own. But fortunately, we have a walkthrough that we're going to follow. Oh, I hit the wrong. I hit the wrong thing. All right, well, you know what? Um, wasn't supposed to go north. I was supposed to go east. So I'm not listening to the walkthrough. But we're going to get killed by the dragon because it's kind of funny. Oops. <laughs> I got killed by that dragon a lot. Would you like to play again? Yes. Alright. Welcome to the magic of Xanth. Oh, maybe, you know what? The game's actually super short. There's only uh, 31 moves. Maybe we will uh, get killed a couple times to see some of the endings. All right, so we're going to start off east. There's the dragon, so we're going to run. I thought this was pretty cool graphic, the dragon chasing you, the way they did the trees. And run again. The dragon has chased you into the dark crevice. Uh, Nickelpedes lurk in the shadows, blocking your escape. You see nothing special. So apparently, you look at the ground, which I totally missed this even when I got past this part. And you find a bottle opener. You the opener. <laughs> I, I never, and, and that's why I don't even bother uh, really trying to figure out these games, because you would never figure out to look at the ground and find a bottle opener. Just kind of ridiculous. I did talk to the dragon, because you talk to him on the other screen and he doesn't do anything. But I did try again here. You make a deal with the dragon. He blasts the nickel piece with fire while you protect his rear. You all escape together. Oh, I actually got killed by nickel peeds for you guys. Um, all right. Uh, oh, and you have a sword. So if I do inventory, so you have a sword. So I tried to kill the nickelpedes with my sword, and uh, they killed me. And in the walkthrough, you never use your sword, so I'm not sure. I guess the sword's just kind of a red herring. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go north. North. You're standing before a moat, which uh, circles the castle of the good magician Humphrey. There is an Ouroboros in the moat. You see nothing special. Ouroboros. I, I couldn't think of where I heard, heard the term, term Ouroboros before. Are you playing The Witcher? I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go east. You're standing on a thin ledge that surrounds the castle. A waterfall flows into the moat. And that is uh, as far as I had got uh, on my own. And what you're supposed to do here, uh, despite the waterfall being there, is to uh, climb the wall. You ascend the castle wall. You're hanging onto the castle wall. An ugly gargoyle is perched atop the, the wall. Water pours from its huge mouth. So you're going to go mouth. <laughs> Again, I would never have guessed that in a million years. You climb into the gargoyle's mouth. You have emerged in a reservoir within the castle. A cactus cat prevents you from leaving the room. 
So this one I actually thought was good. So the solution to this puzzle is to splash the cat. Because cats hate water, right? Especially a cactus cat. It makes even more sense. The cat flees. So I kind of like that one. Go to the door. You have discovered the good magician Humphrey working in his laboratory. There is a mysterious pool here. All right, so we are going to talk to Humphrey. Humphrey eyes you cautiously, then says, you will, sorry, I was going to say you, you'll need me to find the source of magic, and suddenly you're elsewhere. Thanks, Humphrey. So you're kind of back at the beginning, uh, except you're now with Chester, uh, Crombie, and Humphrey. So we're going to go south. Your group uh, has discovered a giant cabin in the forest. So the guide says to uh, talk to Humphrey, but it doesn't seem to say anything helpful other than to go to the cabin. Humphrey snorts in disgust and absolutely waves his hand toward the cabin. Thanks, Humphrey. Go cabin. You're in the cabin of uh, Crunch, the ogre. Crunch is very friendly for an ogre. You see a bottle and obvious directions to go are north. So I didn't try to talk to Crunch because the guy doesn't tell you, but let's try to talk to him. Talk to Crunch. He is uninterested in talking. Okay. So let's steal his bottle. Get bottle. All right. And we're going to open the bottle. Apparently you can't open it outside or it'll kill you. So maybe we'll uh, go through again and, and die, die a couple times. Uh, you have released uh, Beauregard, a lesser demon from the bottle. So we're going to talk to B E A U R E G A R D, Beauregard. Beauregard says, Here's a special magic pill. Take it to enter my domain, and then he vanishes. You would think Crunch would be interested after we just had a demon appear in his uh, house. Talk to Crunch. He is uninterested. Yeah, demons. No biggie. All right. So we're going to go north. And we're going to go east. You have found a magic path which leads into the sky over the treetops. All right. So we're going to go on the path. The magic path has uh, ended at the shore of a large lake. So I'm going to talk to Humphrey. I shall dematerialize Crombie, Chester, and myself and hide our spirits in the bottle so we can travel with you. All right, so we're going to take the pill. Take the magic pill, and we're going to go underwater. You're at the bottom of the lake. You see a murky castle in the distance. We're going to go to the castle. You are in Burgard's den. He rules this underwater castle, which guards the magic vortex. So the guide has us go right to the vor vortex, but let's talk to Burgard.
To save Xanth, you must free the beast, says Beauregard. The source of magic lies past the vortex. All right, so we're going to go to the vortex. Beauregard escorts you to the vortex and wishes you luck. The vortex has brought you to a deep underground lake. There is a tunnel to the west. The west. You have discovered the awesome demon Xanth, the source of magic. But there still remains something you must do. Should I talk to Xanth? He's not very talkative. So the last instructions that we have are to free the demon. You have freed the demon's ant and won the game. And that's it. So that is the magic of Xanth. Sort of a anticlimactic and very short game, but it was kind of interesting the little portion that they had. Would probably be really good if there was about three more uh, of the same size sections of it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I really like the graphics and sound on this one. And uh, I'd be really interested if anyone out there has actually uh, played this. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, so let's see if I can go back and um, die a couple times. In different ways. Okay, so you saw me get killed by the dragon. Oh, no. I always uh, end up going north there. All right, Should I kill by the dragon. Would you like to play again? Yes. All right, let's get up to those um, uh, millipedes, whatever those things were. All right, so we're gonna go east, and we're gonna run and run. Nickel peeds. So I'm going to do attack. Nickel peeds. You have been consumed by nickel peeds. <laughs> All right, let's see where else we can die. That uh, thing in the lake. Let's say east. Run, run, ground. Oh, I guess we don't really need this. I'm going to die before we uh, get there. Let's see, how can we die here? Should we swim? Let's do swim. <laughs> you have been devoured by dozens of hungry aquatic creatures. Oh, no graphic though. Ground. 
Your opener. Talk dragon. Alright. Uh, let's see, where else could we die? Next thing is climbing the wall. I know we can die with Burry Guard. Um, Alright. North. North. East. Should we try attacking the uh, gargoyle? Can't do that. Let go. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can't die here. Well, maybe we can, but not sure how. Uh, so let's go mouse. Should we pet the cat? <laughs> Let's pet the cat. Oh. <laughs> Tack cat. Oh, the cat has stabbed you with its deadly thorn-like fur. This adventure is over. <laughs> Alright. Would you like to play again? Sure. East, run, run, look around, get opener, talk dragon, North, north, west, climb wall, go mouth. Flash cat, go door, talk, I'm free, Alright, um, south. Go cabin. Talk. I'm free. Go cabin. Get bottle. Alright. Alright, we're supposed to open it here. So let's go north, and now we'll open the bottle. Borgard, the demon emerges. Borgard strikes you dead. Oh, no graphics. <laughs> Looks like the dragon killing us is the only uh, animation. All right, well, I think that was enough different ways to die, especially since there's no graphics. If there was uh, graphics, I would try to find out a couple more, but... Um, it's a little less exciting without an animation. Uh, all right, well, that is a look at the magic of Xanth. Hope you enjoyed this video.